Hello beautiful souls, welcome back to another video on Starseed Academy. My name is Jenny and I hope you're having a wonderful Sunday. So I had something interesting happen which inspired the topic for today's video. So I've been seeing a lot on YouTube and different social media that people are making predictions for December 21st, 2020. And so this seems to be an important date to a lot of people. There's a lot of questions regarding it, a lot of different theories. Um, I've heard even perhaps that it has to do with the Mayan calendar and that something interesting or epic or maybe an event of some kind is supposed to happen on this day. So I didn't really know what to think. To be honest, none of that information was really resonating with me. And so I decided to go into meditation and ask the question myself. And so when I'm asking the, the questions that I have in meditation, I'm either speaking to my spirit guides, my team, which consists of angels, different um, star nation guides, so extraterrestrial guides, um, older ancestors, ascended masters. Um, there's just so many people that are included in your team. And so you also have a team of all of these beautiful beings that you can turn to with any of your questions. And I do have a video actually on how to communicate with your guides. And so if you haven't checked that out yet, I really recommend checking that out. It's really important to be able to speak to your guides, especially in these times when things are so turbulent and you likely do have a lot of questions, whether they be personal questions about what you're going through or questions about bigger events like this December 21st, 2020. So because I had been seeing so much about this date and I really wanted my own answer, something that resonated for me, um, I decided to ask myself and see what kind of answer I got. So the unexpected part is that not only did I get an answer that satisfied me and that resonated for me and felt right, but I got a really long explanation and I felt compelled to write it all out. So this is a channeled answer that I got when I asked the Galactic Federation of Light. So instead of trying to remember what they said, I'm actually going to read it to you today because I feel like I wouldn't be doing it any justice to try to paraphrase or put it in my own words at all because it didn't feel like the answer came from me or my higher self. It truly felt like a channeled answer to my question. So what I'd like to do is just read the answer that I got and then I have highlighted different sections of the answer that maybe we could talk about afterwards. So I'll read it through once first, and then I kind of want to go through some of the key points and what my interpretation is of those. And of course, we're all going to have our own interpretations, and that's perfect. That's how it should be. It needs to resonate for you personally. But I'm going to just read through the answer, and then at the end, we'll talk about some of the key points and see what we can come up with. So first of all, the way that I phrased the question was, um, on December 21st, 2020, is something going to happen? Is there going to be a, an event of some kind? Is it the end of something? And I just left it there to see what kind of an answer that I would get. And so who popped up for me to answer the question was the Galactic Federation of Light Council of Star Nations. So this is a council within the Galactic Federation of Light called the Council of Star Nations. And I got the feeling that there were representatives of each of the star nations that have dealings with Earth or are invested in Earth and humanity and the ascension that we're going through right now and are working with us, with our energies. Again, the energies of the planet Earth and the spirit Gaia and the energies of humanity. So Galactic Federation of Light, Council of Star Nations. So here's their answer. Nothing specific to that day because it's not an outward event. It's an inner event. Those on the path of ascension, the raising of their vibration, will continue to experience frequency upgrades. As within, so without. This will ripple into your life. It's more about the last part of 2020, being October, November, and December, 
all being important and leading you into a new version of yourself noticeably. And that word noticeably was like underlined because they said it so boldly. So leading you into new, a new version of yourself noticeably. So you'll notice it, but you have to choose it. Choose to continue doing the daily work, your meditation routines, taking in knowledge that naturally crosses your path and following your intuition, sharing your truth and your light with the world. Do you even recognize your life from January of 2020? How much have you changed within? How has that affected your life? As within, so without, it all starts inside of you. We are monitoring the sun's activity and these flares are slowly altering your DNA. Your consciousness is becoming more full because more of your soul is able to reside within the body as these upgrades bring your body up in vibration. Earth is living proof of these activations through her heightening resonance. The collective consciousness is undergoing a dark night of the soul that will hit its apex before the end of the year. Then it's time for healing. You are getting ready to assist with this. At this time, there are no plans for mass disclosure in 2020, as the intention would be distorted. But we are with you and you may call on us for personal disclosure. The Earth is surrounded by our Star Nation representatives and councils. We too are sending you upgrades in the form of information packets and downloads to those that align themselves to receive. Call on your personal councils to integrate all that you are receiving. Be vigilant in your free will thoughts and creations. As we close 2020 with intense pressure applied, on the imbalance of the energies of the current system. We are with you. The light quotient on Earth has greatly increased. We are seeing the impact of this light expressed as love and information, and it is spreading. A reminder to all that compassion is more powerful than ego. Remember this in the days ahead. So that was a lot of information. And so I basically highlighted the parts that stood out to me that I thought we could cover today. Um, and if you have any questions about any of this, just like of a certain part, then leave it in the comment section below and I'll see what I can do to get an answer on it. But so far, the, kind of the questions that I had from this were about, the first thing that I have highlighted is about the sun's activity. So it said, we're monitoring the sun's activity. These flares are slowly altering your DNA. Um, so that's solar flares, right? And your consciousness is becoming more full because more of your soul is able to reside within your body as these upgrades bring your body up in vibration. So that makes sense to me because as we raise our vibration, we get into less of a dense state. So as the dimensions also, if you think of it dimension-wise, like third, fourth, fifth, sixth, it's all less dense and it's all um, more like light bodies and etheric. And so it makes sense that as the solar flares are changing our DNA and as we're also working on raising our vibration, that our soul, more of our soul, would be able to reside within our body because our soul is of the highest vibration. It's like our highest self and it's ancient and it's non-physical. And so for it to be able to come more fully into our bodies, we would need to do that work of the raising of our vibrations, which can be done in so many ways. It can be done through um, being more intuitive with your diet and what you're eating, moving your body, meditating regularly, um, taking in spiritual knowledge, and working more with the energies of love, oneness, unity, forgiveness, um, which would mean doing the shadow work involved with that. And shadow work is when you remove your, your darker, heavier energies that are uh, left over a lot of the time from childhood, like a lot of the trauma, and you go within to remove those from your chakras and your energy system. So as we're doing all of this, plus all of these upgrades coming in with these solar flares and energies, 
it, it just makes sense to me that yes, your soul would be able to reside more fully in your body. So it's almost like a meeting of the two of the soul and the physical body. Um, and that would make your consciousness more full and give you that more awareness and more of the understandings of the universe and the truth of oneness, which is such a huge lesson to learn. So the next thing that I had underlined here was right after that part was that earth was living proof of this, uh, a pr living proof of the activations happening through her heightening resonance. Well, that's the Schumann resonance, right? We see that if you're following the Schumann resonance, um, you're seeing that there are like more than ever this year and recently these spikes in the earth's energetic vibration. It's like earth's heartbeat. And so her energy is raising from that 7.83 Hertz all the way up some days to like 70, 80, I think 90 one of the days. And oh, that's affecting us so much too. So we're getting it from like the bottom and the top. So from the sun and from the earth, all of these heightened vibrations, it's all changing us. And it's all bringing us into this new earth 5D way of being. Then they talked about the collective consciousness undergoing a dark night of the soul. Absolutely. I totally see and feel that happening and that this dark night of the soul that the collective consciousness is going through was going to hit its apex by the end of the year, which means we haven't hit it yet. Like, wow, so much has happened in 2020. It makes you wonder what's left. But I mean, I think this year might go out with a bang. I think there's going to be a lot of, well, like civil unrest, political unrest, more of the same, but, but obviously heightened versions of it. And then it says, then it will be the time for healing and that we are all getting ready to assist with that healing. So that's why we're doing so much work on ourselves so that we can show others the way back from trauma. The next point that I had highlighted here to discuss was about disclosure. So they had said that at this point in time, and obviously things can change, right? Like this is why you can't predict the future. Um, and anyone that thinks they can and wants your money to predict your future for you, I don't know about that, because it can change. It's always changing. With every decision we make, it's changing. So they were saying that at this time, there were no plans for mass disclosure. Disclosure being... Um, extraterrestrial life being shown to humanity as being something that's real and that exists. So, hello Gussie. He probably, oh, he wants the flowers. Hi Gus, this is Gus. He wants to be a part of this council meeting. So, um, so basically that there was, was no plans for mass disclosure at this point in 2020 because the intention would be distorted. Well, can't you see that as being true? The way that everything is so distorted right now by the media, it's so crooked. And I can just imagine that truly, if there were um, alien touchdown or like, you know, they decided to come down to earth to uh, spread some love and light, it would be totally twisted and distorted into fear as everything has been lately. So that really resonated with me. But then what was really interesting is they said, but we are with you and you may call on us for personal disclosure. Like, what does that even mean? So here's just my uh, interpretation, right? Like, so let me know what you think, obviously, but um, personal disclosure being that you could have meetings with council members and with different extraterrestrials and guides. Um, I, I feel like we're doing that now though, right? Like, for instance, just this channeled message would have been like a personal disclosure of sorts where I'm talking to a new council that I hadn't talked to before. Like I've talked to the Galactic Federation of Light, but haven't talked to um, what they called themselves was the Council of Star Nations, which I thought was so interesting, which I also love because I am such a multi-dimensional soul and have had lifetimes on so many of the different star nations. So I feel like I personally within myself represent so many different ones. So I really liked that. That's what I was talking to. But yeah, what do you think about that personal disclosure? Do you think that means like in the etheric astral realms, like when we're meditating and going in for these answers through trance or sleep time, dream time? Or do you think it's physical? Like, I'm not sure what I think yet. 
Um, I would love that to be a personal disclosure that could happen in the physical realm. No, don't bite those. Leave those be. But I don't know if our physical bodies could handle that yet because these um, extraterrestrial beings would be of such a high vibration. I mean, they don't exist in this dimension at all. So they'd be of such a high vibration that that would really affect us physically. Are we ready for that? I want to believe that we are. Um, and I would like to believe that that's possible. But I don't know how I feel about the personal disclosure thing. So tell me what you think below. Um, next thing was that I highlighted, I mean, there's a lot in here, but the next thing was that, um, that the earth is surrounded by our star nation representatives and councils. That's what they said. So I was picturing like all of these beautiful light ships all around the earth and also like the, them weaving these grids of, um, higher vibrational frequency to help us. And then that they too are sending upgrades in the form of information packets and downloads to those that align themselves to receive. Well, isn't that what we're doing right here? Stop. Get down. Stop. I mean, it is. It's what we're doing right now by asking these questions and, and bringing those channeled answers to the earth plane, you know, through ourselves, all of us that are doing this. There's so many people that are channeling the, the different councils and bringing those answers through for humanity. So I feel like that's what we're doing. Like we're receiving these information packets and downloads. We're aligning ourselves to receive that information through the raising of our vibration. Again, see how important it is? And then it said, call on your personal councils to integrate all that you're receiving. So your team, your personal councils and teams, your spirit guides. So I feel like I've definitely made it a part of my life to be calling on my personal councils. That's why I feel like it's so important to learn how to communicate with them. Um, and it's also where the inspiration came for my guided meditation to meet your star family and your galactic councils. Because in that meditation, you actually do meet your own personal council. So um, that helped me. That like Also, that's confirmation for me too. Like That helps me feel like I'm on the right track for what I'm doing, which is really, really lovely to get confirmation. And um, it just makes me want to keep going too. And then the next thing I have highlighted here for being something that stood out to me was be vigilant in your free will thoughts and creations. As we close 2020 with intense pressure applied on the imbalance of energies of the current system. So intense pressure is being applied on the imbalanced energies. And when I read that or like heard that, I, I actually thought of free will. And I thought of how the free will of humanity is being blighted at this time in so many ways through the different beings um, and forces that want control of the matrix third dimensional system. And so there is a lot uh, that is crossing the boundaries of curbing people's free will. And I know that that's not allowed, right? So I think that that's why there's this intense pressure being applied on these imbalanced energies. And again, we've talked about this in other videos, but those um, blights on free will are when people are being controlled without knowing that they're being controlled. And it's like they're um, a darker intention to control people through the things that they're adding to water, to food, spraying in the skies, um, the things that they're putting in programming on purpose, so whether that's the entertainment programming or news programming, things are being slipped in there on purpose to um, have people unconsciously being swayed one way or the other. So those few ways among many that we may not even know of at this time are their ways of trying to take the free will and use it for their own will, which is no longer free will. And so that's definitely not allowed. And so I'm really happy to hear that not only are they surrounding our planet, that they're aware of all of this that is going on, but that they're putting pressure to, on those beings to end this imbalance that's happening with the energies. And then they just say right after that, we are with you. Like, that's so beautiful. I actually have that written in all caps, which I don't remember doing. 
So that feels like a really important sentence. Um, we are with you. And the light quotient on earth has greatly increased. We're seeing the impact of this light expressed as love and information as it is spreading. A reminder to all that compassion is more powerful than ego. And I have compassion underlined here. And they say, remember this in the days ahead. And so compassion is an easier place to arrive to within yourself if you have embraced the idea of oneness. And oneness is about how all souls come from the same source and how no one is more special or better than or less than another. We are all truly equal, though we are unique. We are all equal in our worthiness and in our right to exist at all and to be here on earth. And so when you, when you really embrace the teachings of oneness, then you see how just because some souls are, maybe you would deem them not as awake as you are, or you would think that they're, you know, trapped within their ego self. You have to be so careful not to get into a place of judgment, but rather to come at it from a place of compassion. And this is important because we've all been there. Whether in this lifetime or the last, um, we've all been asleep. We've all been lost in our ego. We've all gotten caught up in judgments, in gossip, in all of those things. You have to understand that it happens and people are just doing the best with what they have to work with inside. And so if they haven't arrived to a place of awakened soul awareness and they can't meet you at that level yet, that doesn't mean they're not going to get there. But they certainly aren't going to be helped along through judgment. What's going to help people get there faster is to love them through it and to have compassion. And that can be really difficult when people are getting um, hateful, racist, violent, uh, just so many things that are hard to love. But we need to get to that place inside of ourselves and we do need to learn how to love people. We don't have to love the acts of these hate, hateful energies, but we do have to love the soul deep within and know that all of us souls have a spark of source within us. That life source is the same that animates us all and that brought us all to be in the first place. Like we truly are all the same deep within. And so it's more important than ever to embrace unity, consciousness, to embrace compassion and love for all, and to be an example of that in the world today. And I think that's really what they're talking about. So yeah, I don't really think there's much more I can add to this. It's a lot of information. I'm going to I'm going to do some more meditating on it and, and really try and take in this information as much as I can. But in a sense, I'm happy to know that, and it resonates with me, that nothing is specifically going to happen on a specific date. I don't think that they could plan things to such a specific degree when so much is still up in the air and when everybody does have their own free will and so many decisions to make before the end of the year. Like December 21st, 2020 is still quite a ways away um, when it comes to terms of how much we can change and grow within that amount of time. Um, do I want disclosure? Of course I want disclosure. Who doesn't? But I'm going to work on the personal disclosure that they spoke of. Um, but there is one more thing that I wanted to share with you before closing out this video. I actually found a journal entry that I made. So I'm just going to grab my personal journal here. I have a lot of different books for different things. So this is one that I just write how my life is going and different thoughts in it. So, so I found this journal entry from September 15th and I remembered it. It like flashed in my mind as being important to tie in with this message from the Galactic Federation. And it, it says here in this entry, messages from self, intuition. And then it just has bullet points with just a couple of words each. So the first one is January. The second one is go through the door. The third one is be at peace, rebirth, spiritual and physical integration. So 
I don't know that really I really feel like that all ties in with this uh, message that people believe something is going to happen December 21st 2020 something big and here I've written down you know in January there's going to be a door you need to go through the door you will be at peace it will be a rebirth of sorts both spiritually and physically an integration so I don't know guys these are exciting times only time will tell uh, what's really going to happen December and January and how the year 2020 is going to continue to play out and then end and gosh what do we even have waiting for us in 2021 so again please share your thoughts on all of this below I'd love to hear them please make sure that you're sharing messages of love and light and not coming from a place of anger or hatred that's not going to help anyone if you're feeling fearful of course feel free to share that because it's good for us all to encourage and comfort one another with our energies so if you liked this video please go ahead and click like share the video if you think that it's going to help someone or be of interest to someone please most of all subscribe to the channel because your support and loving energies help me so much to be able to grow my YouTube channel and reach as many people as I can with these light messages, which I truly feel is so important right now. And if you're looking for more daily content, then you're gonna find me on Facebook and Instagram, whereas on YouTube, the schedule is Sunday, Monday, Wednesday. So I love to hear from you in all of the different corners of the internet. The most important thing though, is for you to remember, of course, listen to your heart and the quiet voice within, because you are so much more than the body you are in. Have a great day. Talk to you soon. Bye.